Hello, welcome back to Blender CC Live. Today I want to talk about Anime Gun 2. Um, this one is a uh, PyTorch in implementations by Brian Lee. Uh, it's basically a way you can kind of turn in video or photo into some kind of anime looking style. Um, usually for landscape, it's simplifying the landscape but keeping the information. It looks like a Ghibli movie or some other anime that's kind of realistic but also uh, stylistic so this is uh, the original one Tachiban by Tachibana Yoshino uh, I've been watching this uh, progressions uh, over the years I think it's getting easier and if you want to set this up it's uh, it's just as easy as downloading downloading the zip file and you're gonna get a folder like this uh, I have inside my computer it's under my username this is anime gun and if you try to run this um, like uh, the test py just typing like python python test.py it's gonna complain if you are missing like module but it's gonna try to uh, install it anyway for you I mean uh, you need to install some of the, mo the module that's missing maybe you need tensorflow or things like that but once it's uh, installed properly, um, you can use this anime gun to convert uh, your photo into anime. And these are some of the, the results that I've been getting. So photograph become like a stylistic anime looking. And I can go up to like 1080 resolutions without crashing my GPU. This is running on M1 iMac. Okay, this one is uh, weird. This is actually a Snapchat lens on my face and then I just make it into anime. This one is a little bit weird. It doesn't seem to work on a caricature face like this, but it works on a realistic face. And this one is Andrew Guru. Blender Guru. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so let's uh, let's try something. So what I really want is, is really to achieve uh, this kind of look like Netflix Arcane. I really like the stylistic look of this animations on Netflix but I think this this was done by real artists you know they painted the face there's some example on Sketchfab with this kind of style this one is much simpler but if you search for like a portrait or head scan you will see like realistic face okay so realistic face is cool you can um, let's see if I can download this and maybe can modify this in a bit I will try to download this this might be a little bit big but the idea is to <clears throat> to use the style transfer like anime gun version 2 to turn this into anime uh, I've been testing out a lot of uh, style, lots of photos I think if we keep it like a uh, small it will process it really fast actually so let me, let me try so this is really small like 125 pixel I will go a little bit higher like a postcard size and actually uh, this one is even higher let's try so I'm taking a screenshot okay so from the, those screenshot we're gonna turn it into this kind of style of face this is actually my face I just turn it into a different gender and then style it okay that's yeah I, I apply it to Elvis photo anyway many ways you can play around with this uh, style transfer and AI machine learning to transfer your face into a different actor things like that so I just put it in this folder right and then I'm I have this script Python just run the test.py input directory is my photo device is CPU I can only use CPU at the moment maybe with GPU it's gonna be a lot faster but CPU is not bad if you have like a small small photo it's gonna process it really fast okay you can see this one is the smallest few pixel photos right second one much better third one 
even better. This one is actually uh, okay. Let's open with preview and then five seven to six hundred. Okay, six hundred is really good. I think this is quality that I really want to work with. You know, like if you're doing three D, you want, you do like a turntable, for example, inside Blender. You can actually get this kind of anime result really nicely like 600 by 600 pixels right okay let's just grab that thing oops sorry <laughs> brain blank gltf downloads 3d head scene but you can we can merge vertices okay by default, it's gonna merge vertices. That's too close. Still doesn't work. Anyway, select all by type mesh. Just merge this. This is definitely a 3D scan. Merge vertices by distance. I'm gonna use this as example. Um, right click pattern, clear pattern, keep transformations. I actually want to reset this set. Set origin to geometry and then option G. Okay, delete all this unnecessary stuff. Save. Head scan. Save. This one probably already have some UV. Yeah, uh, this one is scan phase. So you, uh, this one I cannot. I can probably run a, like a anime gun on this texture. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should give it a try. It it works better with the with the actual face. No. Yeah, I shouldn't run anime gun on this. I could, but. It's better to just run the anime gun on the actual face, and then you do you do like rotations. Maybe I will I will do that exactly. Like this shift A camera view align active view to active camera to view, and I, I'm gonna set this up to six hundred by six hundred pixel. I want to actually render this out, and we're gonna do. Maybe turntable. Um, zoom closer. I already have the turntable enabled under add-on. Turntable. This is turn around add-on that comes with any blender. So once you have that installed, you you will have this turnaround camera. You select an object. With the camera already set up, and then all you need to do is to create track constraint. Oh, actually, no. Click on turn around. I don't know why it's <laughs> it's becoming like this. Wait. Something wrong. Something wrong. Yeah, I put the mesh under, under collection. Select the object. Turn around camera, 250 frames, can be less. Uh, okay, I don't know what's going on before. But anyhow, yeah, 
Well, anyway, I should zoom in on the face a little bit more. Camera set it to eighty five. Okay, we might just need a couple of frame like this hundred forty six to two hundred. Oh, actually, go all the way. This is one. This one is using EV. I can add a light. Oh, actually, this one. The 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 material is gonna use the the original spec texture render anyway. So just render this out. Render animations. This should take a while. The old photos. Or, uh, originally I want to show you that you can do a face like a proper face with a with a map and then you can use the style transfer to the texture and then use that texture in a 3d object but in in our case I think if we use the balance one there's a balance 3d head if you use Bellus app like this you can use, use style transfer and then actually uh, style transfer the head I, I will try okay this guy yeah while it's still rendering with EV we're gonna get the result just gonna try a couple I don't need to have the full head rotations you know just yeah, couple and then just run the Python. It's gonna do the style transfer. It shouldn't be my computer is slowing down, but it's okay. We can still work. Bellus 3D was purchased by I don't know which company purchased Bellus 3D, but this will only uh, if you have iPhone, you can scan your head or face very very quick. Okay, what? I hope it doesn't crash. Okay, this is the result, okay? It's a style transfer. It's working. This is anime gun. What do you think of the result? Quite nice, right? It's almost like concept concept art. It's actually really nice. Um, I, With a bit of stylizations and caricature, you're gonna get something that's similar to Netflix Arcane, sort of. I mean, not exactly, but I think it's getting there. Uh, okay, so let's close some of this sketchfab. I think it's slowing down my computer. I hope it doesn't crash while recording. So I downloaded the model. This is you actually get a texture that's really clean. That's this. This is this is what I want to show you. Okay, this texture. With this, anime gun can probably work on it. I'm gonna have to make this really small.